Hey, M12 family, my name's Kane Woodward and I'm the worship resident over at Hamilton Mill. Man, I've missed you all, I've missed singing with you. And today I just wanted to lead us in a song talking about God's love, talking about how his love is with us always. It never leaves us and we can't be separated from it. And man, I'm just thankful for that. So let's sing this song together, let's worship him and let's thank him for his love. Thank you so much for joining us for worship. Now let's listen to Jeremy as he has a message for us today. Hey, what's up M12 family? It is Jeremy here uh, and others of you call me Germ. So everyone on here can call me Germ. And today I'm excited to continue our conversation on the book of James. On Sunday mornings, we have been learning a lot about what James has said throughout the book that he wrote in the Bible. And today we wanna to continue the conversation about what James says about using our words. You know, for some of us, we mix up our words a lot. I actually have a lot of embarrassing moments in my history where I've messed up the words I'm saying. Either I stumbled over my words or uh, I just struggled to finish the sentence because I lost what word I wanted to use. And if you ever catch me in one of these moments, it's a real dilemma. You'll probably laugh or think I'm going crazy. And James, here's what he has to say in chapter three, verses seven through eight. All kinds of animals, birds, reptiles, and sea creatures are being tamed and have been tamed by mankind. 
but no human being can tame the tongue. It is a restless evil full of deadly poison. Wow. James, he just called our words deadly poison. I mean, we got to be we got to be crazy careful with our words if that's the case. Because if we use our words poorly, then those can have high costs and consequences. And James continues in the verse by saying this. With the tongue we praise our Lord and Father, and with it we curse human beings who have been made in God's likeness. Out of the same mouth come praise and cursing, my brothers and sisters. This should not be. I mean, listen to what James just said. He said, "We can we can praise our Lord in heaven, but yet we can curse our friends and family." I mean, that's scary to think about that our that our words can be that deadly to the people around us. Let me make this simple. James is saying that our horizontal relationships reflect our vertical relationships. Essentially saying that that we can be right with God, but if we're not right with the people around us like our friends, our family, our parents, our coaches, just the people in our lives, then something's off. Our relationship with our heavenly Father is off. James gives us a great metaphor for this in the next verse by saying these words. My brothers and sisters, can a fig tree bear olives or a grapevine bear figs? Neither can a salt spring produce fresh water. Our horizontal relationships, they reflect our vertical relationship with our Father in heaven. And we we if we're off in one area, then we're off in both. So I want to give you two arenas in your life that maybe you need to take a a glance into and see if you have used your words poorly in those areas. Number 1 being peers. Your friends around you. Maybe in your life there's a relationship that's off with your friends. That you said some words that you regret to someone or maybe maybe for you it was words you said behind their back and they found out about it. And what you need to do is you need to pick up your cell phone, give them a call, maybe even text them. Or maybe it's it's enough for you to say I need to drive over to their house. And then you need to pray and ask Jesus to help you to heal with your words and not break down those relationships. Number 2, this arena, <laughs> this one is the tough one because we're spending a lot of time at home with our parents. Yes, our parents. And and some sometimes that's a great advantage that we get to spend time extra with our family, but I bet there's some tension in your homes. There's some tension. Maybe maybe you were rude to your parents and you need to apologize for them for what you said. Maybe you were blatantly disrespectful or you didn't do what they asked you to do. And you used some words that maybe you regret. And since your your horizontal relationships isn't right with the parents that God has given you on earth, then maybe your relationship with your father in heaven is a little off too. And you need to go back to your father in heaven and and apologize and ask for forgiveness. You know James, he he says a lot about words because he knows how important they are. Cuz we can praise God and we can lift people up and encourage them or we can tear them down. So I want to ask you, how do you need to change your words? And who can help you to change those words? M12 almost forgot. We're about to jump into our Zoom groups. And if you need to jump into a Zoom group, you can reach out and contact your student pastor or you can email students@12stone.com. That's where you're going to get connected. That's where you're going to find the right directions to get where you're going so you better do it cuz Zoom groups are where it's at. See y'all later. Bye.